Welcome to this tutorial on how to add employer and employees on EasyFile Employer. First login on your EasyFile. Type the admin username in capital letters and the password you have created. If you have an employer added to your EasyFile, you will be able to select the employer database. If no employer added, click on continue to add the employer. Then click on Employer Admin on the left-hand menu. On this screen, you must complete the employer details, starting with employer name and PAYE reference number, SDL number if applicable, and the UIF number. After you have completed all mandatory fields, click on Add Employer. A pop-up screen will appear. Employer account registered successfully, and the database will be automatically changed to this employer. Click on OK to close. After adding the employer, you can click on Employee Admin to add the employee if this was not a payroll import. Complete all the demographic information of the employee. Complete the employee's text reference number. Remember not to complete 10 zeros in this field. If the employee is not registered for income tax, click on IT Register to register the employee for income tax. After completing the employee information, you need to complete the next block, which is the employee's contact details. Then complete the employee's banking details. Select the account type on the drop-down. If the employee has no bank account, you can select the option Not Paid by Electronic Bank Transfer. The system will remind you to select the period of reconciliation when you click Save. After you have selected the period of reconciliation, click on the Save button to save the employee. A pop-up screen showing employee saved successfully will appear. Click OK to close. Employers using a payroll system, click on Import Payroll File to add your employees. Then select the file you want to import, then click on Open. Click OK to initiate the validation process. The system will display the file import validation results on the screen. If the payroll fails the validation, visit the Utilities and Validation log to check the reasons for failure or click on View Warnings to check the warnings if the validation passed with warnings. If the payroll file passes the validation, click OK to begin the import. Once the import is complete, File Import Successful will appear on the screen and the database will be changed to the imported employer. You can then view the employees to check if all details of employees are correct, or you can click on EMP501 declaration to start the reconciliation process. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next tutorial on how to create a tax certificate on EasyFile. SARS, at your service.